The sweep and horizontal amplifier circuits of the Tektronix 465B and 468 oscilloscopes are nearly identical. This video shows four repairs that are common to both and one that is unique to the 468. I had a 468 with the beam stuck in the center with no deflection. Both horizontal deflection plates were at plus 105 volts. A 465B had the beam off screen to the left and could be brought on screen with the beam finder button. Both of these problems were caused by failures of the 3.74K precision film resistors in the collectors of the input differential stage of the horizontal amplifier. They are R664 and 665 in the 468 and R4368 and 4369 in the 465B. In, in the 468, both resistors were open. One was open in the 465B. I overlooked these resistors as a possible problem for some time because in my experience, film resistors are much less failure prone than carbon composition resistors. These resistors are dissipating less than their half watt rating, but they still failed. The problem in a 468 whose B sweep was not working was traced to R849, a 4.3K half watt resistor. The corresponding part in the A sweep is R974, curiously a 4.3K 1 watt resistor. Both resistors are dissipating about the same amount of power and probably should have both been 1 watt. The corresponding parts in the 465B are R4545 the half watt and R4576 the 1 watt. A 468 has horizontal jitter on both sweeps and in XY mode. I made the deduction, quite logically, that the problem must be in the horizontal amplifier, the section common to both sweep and XY modes. After some time probing the horizontal amplifier, I discovered the problem was actually a noisy trim pot with the innocent label B Sweep Start, R4570 in the 465B, and R970 in the 468. This is the adjustment used when calibrating the B Sweep Delay 10 turn pot. It sets the starting voltage of both the A and B sweeps, hence the voltages at the output of both sweep circuits when the sweep is not running, that is, the quiescent voltages. These voltages are fed to the horizontal amplifier, so they affect the horizontal position in XY mode even when the sweep is not running. There are two transistors which cause failures in the A and B sweep, designated Q967 and Q998 in the 468, and Q4570 and 4598 in the 465B. Even in instruments with most of the transistors soldered in, these are socketed, which suggested, suggests a failure problem with these was anticipated. Being socketed makes them easy to remove and test, so if one or both sweeps are not running, test these transistors first. This is a problem which uh, is unique to the 468, but involves this, the interaction between sweep um, in storage and non-storage mode. In non-storage mode, the sweep, A and B sweeps, work normally. Um, but in storage mode, if we go to storage mode, no sweep. If I do beam finder, I see some the dots move off screen, so the beam is just off to the left. But in B mode, B only, uh, the sweep works okay. A mode, no sweep. B, no B, I get a sweep. In alternate mode, nothing. But get a B sweep in delay mode. So it took me some time to find the uh, cause of this problem. Two diodes on the timing board, CR374 and CR471, are used to pull down both the S and R inputs of U789A, forcing both of its outputs high, which disables both sweeps in storage mode. Both diodes are germanium because the forward drop of silicon diodes would be too high to reliably reset U789A. 
CR374 was open. It was cracked, as can be seen here. Stress from the lead forming during assembly probably disposed it to crack when the instrument was subject to shock. I hope you found these four or five diagnoses useful. Again, um, applicable to both the 465B and 468 because the uh, analog section of the 468 is uh, almost identical to the 465B.